Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest Cut File Crew layout. Uh, this month we're all using this wonderful Cut File by Amelia Creates, which are exclusive to the Hey Little Magpie store. The Cut File is free, so if you go into the store you can pop it in your basket. For this um, layout I've used the latest Echo Park range called It's a Boy. So I've got this checkered paper in front of me and I want to emulate the colours so I've got these Japanese paints by my side and I'm going to mix uh, a tealy coloured paint to start off to decorate the cardstock that's going to be behind my cut file. So I'm kind of going with an ombre look but as you see I'm going to use more than one colour. Um, I've got a photograph that um, of my nephew that I really wanted to use and when I saw the range I knew exactly the photo that I wanted. You know how sometimes you get that connection. Uh, in the photo he, not only is he hugging a giraffe but he's got a lion on his um, outfit and when I saw this, these papers uh, they've got some really cute characters in them and I knew that they would go well together. So I'm just applying the paint. This is to a heavy white cardstock and uh, I've used a teal colour at the top and I'm going to use a um, rich yellow at the bottom. That's because they're the two colours in the chequered uh, paper there and they're the colour that most of the embellishments in this range are in. So I thought I'd use the two together for a change and that then a the cut file would be put over the top. I'm trying really carefully. I didn't want it to be very bright yellow. It possibly ends up not quite as dark as I would have liked it or maybe it's not as rich as I would like it, but it's just the way it is. I'm quite happy with it in the end and it looks great with the stuff I did over the top. So, And also it's just a bit of cardstock really. If I, if I was that desperate I could have done it again and I wasn't. So I'm just touching it up making sure it's um, near, the t near the edges because it's quite a bit could file. I've cut it in the size that it was originally so that's nice and dry now and that's the cut file over the top. I really like the way that looks and as I say there's a photo of my nephew. Um, he's only a little one, so uh, he's a bit bigger than that now, he's uh, nearly three, but uh, I'm just now going to go through all the pieces of ephemera. I've got stickers, I've got chipboard. I'm going to have a look, see what uh, grabs me and that I want to put around him. So that piece there with the lion on, they are just so cute. Uh, this is a lovely range. I've only bought the boy one um, so far, but uh, I'm now thinking maybe that I need the girl one too. So I'm just going to have a look. Just seeing whether I actually want to mat this onto a piece of patterned paper, but actually I think there's going to be enough going on in the background as it is, so I leave it be. But I am looking for some papers to go behind my photograph, so that's what I'm thinking about there with the 6x6 pad. And I think I'm going to bring in some uh, bolder colours as well from the paper pad, just to help that photo pop from the um, background. And that dark yellow, that's definitely going to uh, make it because I really like that. And it's definitely some of the inspiration for the actual page. This is just really nice colours in this range. Um, obviously they are a bit boyish, um, but not totally. You could use this, apart from some of the um, bits of ephemera that say boy, you could use this for anybody. Some of the uh, bits are actually suitable for a new baby. I've noticed the more I've read the words, there's quite a lot of either die cuts or chipboard with write and stickers with writing on, possibly a few more than I would like, but even then um, there's definitely going to be able to go on plenty of layouts as I start to work my way through this. So I'm just going to look to map my photograph, it's a 3 by 4 um, just that I've printed it at home, I've got a selfie printer that I use for those, so I'm just going to add um, two or three pieces of paper behind that photograph just to help it lift up from the cut file. So this challenge is actually on Instagram. It's uh, a monthly challenge as I mentioned at the beginning for the a group called the Cut File Crew. This was my choice this month that we're all using so if you get a chance to hop round some of the other members of the group see how they use the cut file you'll find lots and lots of inspiration of ways to use this. Um, we're all very different sorts of um, scrappers and crafters and um, you'll yeah there'll be lots of um, choices and inspiration there for you to see. As I say, it's once a month on the last Sunday of the month, so do look out for us on Instagram. So I'm just having a look, what are the bits and pieces? I'm going with a horizontal 
uh, embellishment line. I'm using that to cover the join really between the two paint colours as even though it did blend quite well um, it's not the best so I thought that might be the best way to go would be across it. So I'm already thinking I, I tend to cut things out with the backing intact like that sticker you just saw there so that way I can move it around on my design without it actually finding its permanent home and if it doesn't make it in the final cut I can drop it back in the uh, bag with the rest of the range without the fear of it sticking to something that's precious. I've pretty much got the um, rough bits down that I like for this um, embellishment line. The bits of chipboard and the die cuts that I've picked I think I'm happy with. Uh, may need a little bit more adding but I think the basics is there. So I've stuck those down off camera now so I know that that is straight and I've dug out some buttons um, that coordinate with the colours. What I did realise is I don't have many yellow buttons. That maybe needs something I mean, I can't tell you when I last bought buttons, so it just shows that over the years, and I've been scrapping possibly 15 years, maybe a little bit longer, that I've obviously used up the yellow buttons uh, over time. A few of the teal colours, I'm just now deciding where I want to put them. There are a few chipboard and sticker buttons that I have a look at as well. And I'm just seeing if there's any more bits that I want to add in. I always have a, a good look at the end just to see any more bits that could help finish uh, a layer off. But I really um, don't feel there's too much more. It's a little rainbow sticker that's uh, squeezed itself in there. But I don't feel it needs that much more to um, get it completed. I'm certainly gonna have um, lots more to make some more layouts. I've got loads of lovely photographs of my nephew that I can go on and scrap. So I'm just seeing if any of these last stickers could find a little home just to finish off um, and like taper that end of the embellishment cluster. Um, I don't think I pick a sticker in the end but I'm just going to have a look at the last few bits. I must admit the embellishments are my favourite part of any range so I do like to have a good look through because sometimes some of them are so small that you actually miss them on the first glance through them and there's loads packed on this sticker sheet as you can see these are the puffy um, stickers and I've picked the word baby boy actually there that I've put next to the button. There is a little bottle there and I'm really tempted to stick it on but it doesn't make it in the end. So I've added string to the buttons, well embroidery floss in a similar colour and I've got some just some little star circles off the sticker sheet and I'm going to add those in just to help those clusters and I think we're about there. I'm really pleased with the way this cut file has looked on this layout and I've only glued it down the centre onto the paint so actually when you move it the cut file moves. So here's the full image and the close-ups too. If you like what you see give us a thumbs up, find the cut file crew on Instagram and check out the Hey Little Magpie store. Uh, we'd love to see you there, some great ranges on offer. And um, I hope to see you here soon. Bye for now.